Hi, this is Robin Tull with Tull Financial Group. We've had a lot of good comments about some of the planning tips we've shared over the last three weeks uh, since this virus has occurred. Uh, today, I want to talk a bit about the Roth conversion option. You can contribute to a Roth itself, but there are some people that have not been able to because of their income. So we call this the Roth conversion option. So why would you want to do this? If you have a traditional IRA and you think you're going to be project out that you're going to be at a higher tax bracket when you retire, then converting now, paying the taxes may be an opportunity for you. The second reason you might do it is if you say, look, I'm really not going to use this money. Uh, I'm going to leave it to my children. Then uh, pay the tax now and then it's significantly tax deferred for years and years to come. And then thirdly, if you're looking and say, well, you know, I'm going to have a very low income this year, unusually low income this year, then I can pay the tax this year at the lower bracket and then next year I won't convert. So those are three of the main reasons for the recent uh, market drop that we've had. There's people that we've talked to that are considering because you say, okay, the traditional IRA is down in value. Why don't I convert it now to a Roth? Pay the tax at this lower rate and then when it comes back I won't ever have to pay tax on it again so that would be the fourth reason now why would you not do it uh, I think the first one would be if you're getting ready to retire you don't you're not gonna have the time for making up for paying that income tax secondly by having that big income in that year that convert uh, your Medicare will be affected Social Security going to be affected be affected so that would be the second reason. Another reason, say you just didn't have the money to pay the, pay the tax uh, on this conversion. You, don't ha you need to have it in another taxable account to do that. And you say, hey, I don't have that. Well, then you wouldn't want to do that you know, for sure. Um, I find that uh, my older clients are using their IRA to make charitable gifts through this qualified charitable uh, deduction, QCD. Uh, it allows them, if they can't itemize, to make a charitable gift above the line and get the benefit. So if you're going to do that in retirement, then no, then Roth is not that opportunity, uh, much, won't provide that great opportunity. So kind of in, sum, in summary here, remember, you don't have to convert over time. You can have a five-year plan or a 10-year plan to convert. Uh, remember that once you convert, you can't recharacterize it back to the, the traditional IRA. And then finally, make sure you got the money to pay the tax. That would be it. So in conclusion, um, please, if you like some of these things and you have some questions of future topics, let us know. Make some comments. Give us some feedback. We'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, since we talked about tax topics, please urge you. Go see your CPA, see your tax repair, run these ideas by them. If you uh, have a certified financial planner, talk to them, or if you don't, we would welcome the opportunity to, to speak to you and meet with you. Have a great day.